his melt background. The his melt process has a relatively long history, having been conceived in the early 1980s and progressed through two levels of pilot plant, 10,000 tons per year and 100,000 tons per year respectively, to its first commercial 800,000 tons per year installation in Queen Anna, Western Australia. At the core of his mode is the smelt reduction vessel CRV, which is illustrated in figure. It consists of a water-cooled upper shell and a refractory heart. The process uses high-velocity injection of coal and ore into the melt via downwardly angled water-cooled injection lances. Injected coal, after heating and devolatilization, dissolves to maintain around 4% carbon in metal. Injected ore is then brought into contact with this carbon-rich metal and smelting occurs. The lower part of the CRV is maintained at low oxygen potential to allow this reaction to occur, and reduction kinetics balance out at around 5-6% of use type in slag. Heat supply to maintain the necessary thermal balance comes from combustion of bad gas, mainly CO in the upper part of the vessel. Oxygen enriched hot blast typically 35% total oxygen at 1200 degrees of Celsius is introduced via a top lens and combustion occurs in the relatively oxidizing region in this upper section. The resulting process of gas is typically has a post-combustion degree of 50-60%. The key to the his mode process is achieving heat transfer between the upper oxidizing region and the lower reducing region in such a way that the oxygen potential gradient is maintained. This is achieved while large amounts of liquid splash moving between regions, carrying heat with them as they go. A certain percentage of this heat goes to water panels and lances and the balance is used for smelting. Slag is stepped periodically via a water-cooled notch, while hot metal is stepped continuously via a forehard. The latter is considered a key safety feature of the technology, since it is the primary means by which metal level is controlled, to ensure there is always a suitable safety margin between it and the water-cooled lances. The Hismail process configuration has a number of unique features. First, the method of solids injection using high-speed lances means that capture efficiency in the melt is very high and even ultra fines can be used directly. Second, the natural glustite level in the slag 5-6% in conjunction with metal carbon at around 4% creates conditions for strong migration of phosphorus from metal to slag. Typically, around 80-90% of the phosphorus is rejected to slag. Third, coal performance. Coal performance has virtually no dependence on particle morphology, since the coal is ground fine for injection. These features can be exploited to access lower grade heat materials which would be difficult or impossible to use in a blast furnace.